Good morning, dear friends. My name is Olivier Monto from IPR CTG. And I'm going to show you just how you can program a PLC using another program language. And then you control two double acting cylinder with a proximity sensor. And if you saw my previous videos, you have understood how to design a simple, a basic electronic circuit. So we start here by bring, uh, bring the library and I go to pneumatic and I go to pneumatic I go to find all that I need I'll need that fresh exhaust I'll need the double acting cylinder I will also need the directional control valve directional control valve and, um, pressure source pneumatic pressure source and the exhaust and I can hold my control key and I drag it, I put there because there are two pressure sources so I can add that to there I connect the DCV to the double acting cylinder and then I open pneumatic, I put sensor proximity sensor I put the first proximity sensor and let me call one RS1 like that and the, I put the same sensor here and let me call Call it a name, and I put it one RS2 like that. Okay. So I duplicate the system, and then I put it just here, just a little bit. Okay. And I rename the sensors because we have the two second cylinder. So modify, and this is two RS1. Okay. Then close, and this is. To RS2, so we modify to RS2, okay, then close. So I'm done with the pneumatic circuit. Now I need to go to PSC program. So I have to close this and then I open the PLC program, PLC program, and then I bring the rank and then in my rank. I can adjust my rank as much as I need, like that, like that, so my rank can be adjusted as much as I need, so I have my rank now, I can try to put it on the center. So because a PLC will also need to have the normally close contact and then I put a normally open contact just like there and we have a output and I, of course somewhere I need the normally close contact and then I put a normally open contact here, like this, okay, I link, and then I can copy this set of components, I duplicate, and then I just drag it where I need, like there, and then I also duplicate, because I need three runs, duplicate, and I drag it to, to there, okay, so I can now, Now let me try to, after having the control here, I will need the PLC needs, uh, the PLC needs the, the card, the input card and the output card. So I bring the input card here, I put just it here, okay, and I put the output card there, okay, in order to communicate with the program that I have here on the run. I must communicate with the input and with the output. And our inputs are the sensor of the switches, and the outputs are the solenoids or the relays. It is what we need. So I have to put the switch, that means the number open, which is my start. And uh, I will need, uh, need another switch. 
which is a numeric closed, which is my stop, my stop switch. Then I put it here, I link it. Okay. So <coughs> I will also need the contact. I'll need the contact. Uh, the first contact is proximate switch. Proximate switch, memory um, open. I'll put it on input 2, just by default. And the next one, it is memory closed. That's the proximate switch, I put it there. And the third one is proximate switch memory open. I put it here. Okay. And uh, I put another memory closed, proximate switch just. Yeah, like that, and then I need to link this that to there. Okay, okay, and then I go to the output. I will need a solenoid, I put it on the output zero, and I call the solenoid one, and I need another solenoid. I can put it on the output four. So I call it solve two, and I can have an indicator now. Let me put on the output six. Let's for as an indicator. As an indicator lamp. Indicator lamp. So I will need the power. First of all, start with the. Zero voltage, I turn it to left, and then I connect it to there, <coughs> and then uh, I put another zero here, I can turn it to right, and then uh, I put it there, okay. So I will need 24 voltage, so this 24 voltage, okay, I need 24 voltage just here, okay. And then I do it. Okay. 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 So now I got to program this to be the output zero. The output zero. Okay. I link. Then I close. So I try to put it here. Okay. And this is going to be output four. Output four, okay, okay, okay. So it's my output four, and this will be my output six. My output six, okay, okay, fine. And then this is the output four. To link to the output four, this I link it to the output four, then okay. Okay, just like that, and uh, I have to connect these two. I have to connect also that one, and uh, I can let's put it on that ring. Okay, so that I can move up my ring. Okay, so I have this is a stop. I modify and I write stop like that, okay, and then I close. This is gonna be my start. Modify, then write start, then okay, close. And this is gonna be linked to one error S2, one error S2, then okay, and this uh, will be connected to, to one error S1, one error S1, okay. These two RS2, I link them to two RS2, and finally two RS1. Then OK. So this is my start stop. That's on the link to stop. Just like that. Then OK. And this is start. Start. OK. OK. And this is gonna be the output six. Output six. I link to the output six. That's for my program. And uh, this is gonna be uh, one RS two. 
a link to one rs2 one rs2 just find one rs2 one rs2 okay on this one rs1 one rs1 i'm just looking for one rs1 just here then okay okay so this is output four output four i link to the output four okay this is one uh two rs2 two rs2 okay okay and this is two rs1 two rs1 just two rs1 two rs1 just like that then okay okay and this is the output six okay okay close so i'm done with the circuit I'm done with the circuit. Now I can try to link the solenoid one. This is the third one. Okay, and I close. I link the solenoid two. Then okay, I link and then I close. So my circuit now is ready. I can try to move it just a little bit. Put it down the center, and then uh, I can simulate whether it is working so when I start well, then I start push button is here so you know the cylinder are extending and retracting themselves and you can see the indicator is just indicating that the system is working and uh, I have the three runs and the, in which I have the program and this is the end of the program and I have the input cards then I have the output card, and on my input card we have stop, start, and we have the proximity sensor, one RS2, and then one RS1, two RS2, and two RS1, and you can see the way the inputs are being received by the input card, and here the, the way the program is being processed, and here now we have the output, you can see the way the output are being delivered. It means the program is delivering the output, so we can try to simulate. And uh, we have the simulation. This is the cylinder is working. And uh, if we stop the circuit, it will not stop. And uh, we start again the circuit. It is working. <laughs> and uh, we can keep on simulating. We can go to the simulation of the cylinder number two. And, uh, I can see it is working. So you guys, uh, you have to visit my channel, my YouTube channel, and then you subscribe and leave a comment. You can leave a comment on my YouTube channel, and uh, please don't hesitate to ask for help. Or when you like my my video, just subscribe, and you will get more updates. So here, it is really a simple program. I'm using a, a ladder, PLC ladder. You know, it's normal for the PLCs. We will need the input and output model, then the CPU or central processing unit, and then the PM or program monitor, of course, and the power supply. So this is my power supply, 24 voltage, zero voltage on the input output module, and I have 24 voltage, zero voltage on the output module, and uh, then this is the program. So in order to have the program to be linked to the circuit, we need to receive the information from the input module. We execute the information by having the program, and then we order. It means the output. The outputs are delivered through the output card. So thank you guys for watching my video once again. I appreciate what you're doing to me. Just subscribe and share with your friends. And I am very sure that you will like uh, to upgrade your to your knowledge and the program. If